All right, so I have a double box here. This is supposed to be a full-size frame bike. I'm not sure how they fit all of it inside this box. As this box looks special. I have not seen any bike being packed like that. Super clean, well-organized package. Here's this brake. Tektro brakes. Very nicely packed, guys. And this is uh, probably how it's gonna look uh, when it's fully assembled. I'm not sure what's this here, so we'll have to open a second. Very impressive package, guys. Accessory box, everything labeled. Foam around. And I'm curious to see what's inside this uh, um, coverings here. So we have the rear. Oh, wow, look at that. We have a belt driven system. So it's a rear hub, probably 250, maybe 300 watts. 36 volts, 350 watts. And model, it says here, G250R. All right, let's put this on the side. We'll open this, probably the frame. And uh, this is the front wheel. I really love this packaging. And here, one thing that I just saw, we have sort of like XT60 connector. A little bit different and waterproof uh, sensor connector. Guys, this is insane. The entire bike right here, plus the wheels, which are right there. And the Super Sentry CIC kit, it's installed and almost ready to be tested. So it's coming soon, but back to the bike. So if you're traveling and you need something very compact, this is the bike for you. This is how it's gonna look when it's fully assembled. And it's a full frame. And besides that, we have accessories and probably chargers and extra stuff that we don't need. So if we remove this, and I'm sure once you open this, you can pack it in much more smaller footprint. This is packed for shipping, so it's extra. Oh, it's the crank set. So this is gonna be perfect for those that travel or have an RV or are really constrained in the space. This is the bike for you. Nice outside diameter. This is super cool. Almost weighs nothing. You can actually save this package and reuse it for shipping if you're traveling. But I can probably pack it much uh, smaller footprint. The bell, hub and drive. The front fork. The seat post. Phone part. We have part of the frame, the front handlebar, and this has integrated display. These are the frame This is the entire bike in a small pile Plus the box is right there but uh, we're gonna open them in a second and see what's inside. But look how compact this is. And you can just take the wheels in the hand or some, you know, some bag or something and you're good to go. This is crazy. I like this idea. This is the best thing for those that travel. This is insanely cool. The battery, I forgot to show you guys. It is inside the tube right here. It might be actually waterproof because I can see here it's very well sealed. So there's no way for the water to get in. Look at this guys. So you have numbers, number two, and here number one. So you have instructions, everything, it's actually numbered where it goes and it's so well built. Look at this. You plug in the connector right here and then you run this for the tube and you have here a zip tie so you can actually grab it and easier pull it through it. Very cleverly done and uh, it's gonna be waterproof. This is all going in, it's all sealed. So I'm not gonna bore you with the assembly process. All right guys, so this is the accessory box. Tools, so pedals, ring belt for wire management. All of the wires are running for the frame, which I really like. And the charger. And we have Look at that, so well organized. All the tools, all the hardware that you need. The charger is uh, two amps, 10S, 42 volts. And the second, and this is the, the bottom part that I was actually looking for. So I'm almost done uh, 
for assembly and I want to show you guys um, how well this kit is designed so look at this part here look at the notch and you have only one screw going through and here this part is threaded and here on this part you have a nut inside really well engineered and uh, this part actually it's not inserted yet and look at the notch it fits perfectly in here super cool guys and the frame is almost done it's light looks really cool so i'll finish and uh, show you when the bike is fully assembled this lego like bike feels sturdy like a regular frame despite all this multiple connections feels light nimble and the big sprocket allows you to pedal up to 25 miles an hour or faster if you push hard the crank set sprocket is beautifully crafted and this belt drive is super silent and no maintenance the 350 watt motor gives you enough power with five levels of assist to propel you through traffic seamlessly if you want to ride this bike as regular without assist just switch to zero and you're up for a regular ride and a workout if you're not feeling like pedaling just bump it up to boost setting and cruise with light effort between 18 to 21 miles an hour easy this bike looks stealth and the matte color goes so well with this design there are parks in New York City that prohibit electric bikes but in this model case the motor and electronics are so minimalist hidden that no one will know you ride electric the screen integrated into the stem seamlessly and the colors are sharp and well visible the graphics design of the screen are modern and pleasant presented I like the different modes color and the transitions feels premium the grips and the hydraulic brakes are awesome a lot of braking power smooth and one finger operation range I cover 17.3 miles and I always ride in the maximum boost level I think this is the funnest speed to ride on this bike and the balance power delivery is good there's no throttle on this bike and you need to pedal in order to get that assist it's a great commuter option that allows you to get around the city and stay in shape and healthy I like a lot the front solid quick removable axle you can quickly swap the tire and you don't need to adjust the brakes the rear has the safety screws to reinforce the motor connected to the frame which I have not seen on any other e-bike so far I get spoiled with the front and I kind of wish we had the same quick release system in the back the bike does not have lights and is designed to keep it super light and compact so I added these lights myself I'll add the links in the description box these are my favorite best lights that I use daily fast up to 25 miles an hour with a quick shifting 5 pass mode you're up for a thrilling electric riding experience that will elevate your daily commute This module frame can be customized and colored up to your preference also. The battery and the screen are waterproof and integrated into this frame perfectly. You can ride this e-bike at any time and it only weighs 35 pounds or 15.5 kilograms. Charging time 4 hours, maximum load 120 kilograms or 265 pounds. The battery is 36 volts, 7 amp hour or 252 watt hour. Lithium ion with LG cells. The compact Tektro hydraulic brakes, the Kenta tires, rims, well-constructed modular frame, good seat, beautiful matte paint, carbon silent powerful drive are all well-balanced and very high quality parts. We'll accommodate riders from 5.7 up to 6.4 feet. This e-bike retails for $2400 US dollars, but you get here a great assortment parts and a good quality torque sensor that engages in a quarter of a turn and it's just a pleasure to ride if you're looking for a fun way to commute and lose weight or work out this is the perfect model for this task you can add fenders to this frame and this e-bike is perfectly crafted for urban riding and looks super sleek guys this was a review of the cd venture from van powers if you find this video informative please smash that like button and share this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time